This time I want to show you on my new sound module. It's uh, a ESS One Plus 270 version. It's the the new version. Uh, I uh, buy this for my Mercedes, the, the bigger car. And uh, as you may see, I did open it because the speaker came in and a foam uh, bag. So what you get, you get a instruction, some basic information, uh, connection, not much details on the connection, but it's still uh, quite simple to connect it. Uh, you get a uh, programming uh, USB uh, S-Link. Uh, you just connect it to the speaker uh, through the throttle uh, cable and you can program two different sounds on it. Uh, so that's quite nice because you can set uh, what uh, speak, uh, what uh, motor sound you want, what the brake, uh, the turbo, the horn, uh, so all that can be programmed for this. You get a bunch of uh, cables. Let me take it out. So you have the eye splitter uh, for the throttle to still have uh, been able to connect the ESC. You have a adapter from the JST to the DMT and still there is a slot on the other side for the DMT uh, and a speaker. So speaker is quite big as you can see. It's not small. So it's de dedicated for the bigger cars like in uh, 110 scale or one. 618 all the bigger ones you have of course the battery connector and you have a uh, throttle uh, cable also for the S uh, S link it's uh, protected uh, from reverse polarity and the aux, aux channel for the horn on the speaker itself you have two buttons uh, if I, uh, of course these two uh, control the volume. If I remember the holding left is uh, changing the sound and holding right if I remember it's uh, calibrating the ranges. I may be wrong in here but as far as I remember all, uh, this is how this functions work. So let me connect it to the batteries. I will need two batteries for it because sorry and I did it I forgot because I doesn't have any ESC at this moment so let me see I need to connect it like this not connect this yet now I will think I will power the uh, let me see the plus the minus is like this and the throttle is channel 2 we have uh, 4 channels but one will be occupied by the uh, Ubik to, to power because uh, the speaker needs uh, two power sources. One is from the battery to power the sound, and the second is from uh, from the ESC that uh, powers the uh, the device itself. Okay, so let me see. I have a minus plus. It's connected to the second channel. The this is uh, several, so we connect to the second channel and uh, to the third channel. I will use my Austa with the four channels. Okay, so we are hooked up, I think. Now I can connect. I will not use the splitter because I'm only sending signal to the to the speaker itself. I will connect first the smaller battery to the device itself. It's on because the lights is on and now I will connect uh, if I remember yes it's supposed free as 
not now like I don't remember if it's support three S so I connect two S. Here I can and now I can. Okay, so it's on. It's beeping because there is no signal. Battery. Let me change the batteries, I think it's working on the free ice. So let me connect the circuit first. Let me connect the battery. Okay, it stops. Probably the calibration is different. So as you can see the, it's the first sound, you know the speaker on my camera may not be good, but let me try it. So the brake and the horn, let me see where I have it. Uh, this one. Because uh, the switch, uh, the button is uh, changing uh, against the uh, low and the high. I don't know if I can. Okay, let me turn it off for now. Because the button is changing from the low to the high, when you hit uh, the aux button, it will turn on the horn until you press it again. Okay, so uh, that is the one uh, sound. Let me switch to the another sound. And the minus. Okay, so I think that's all for, for this device. There's not much more that I can show in here, but I will show it inside. So let me open it and show what did I found inside. Okay, so it's a speaker like this. There is not much space for uh, for the base in, in here. I don't know. It's a resonator. I don't know uh, how the the box called for the sound, but uh, that's all you can, uh, you have it in here. So it's a sweet little speaker. Look how it's how tiny it is. Okay, so. Uh, I know the, it's loud. I can say it's it's very loud. It's a uh, five uh, watts, four ohms, uh, small speaker. Look, look like a bass speaker, uh, but it's not enough for me. So uh, ESS one, yes, the ES, uh, ESS ESS uh, dual, okay, but I want to have a ESS extreme, and why? It's extreme because I will use this. This is uh, this is the speaker uh, from the Mercedes that I have. Uh, it's uh, it's the original speaker, and look at the size. Here's the compare between this these two speakers. And the second most important thing is look how big is the the space where is uh, where the base is uh, coming from it's much 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 larger so uh, give me some uh, some time i will install the, this uh, those cables and solder the new speaker and 
I will test that how the new speaker will work. Okay, so I took out the 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 circuit, the model. It's quite nice. It's gold plated all over, and there is a second spot to solder the speaker. I think it's the same as the duo version, but I did unsolder the the or, or, uh, original speaker. So, are you ready to? To test it. Uh, by the way, yes, this fan is spinning. I did uh, mount the motor. It should be a little further, but the, uh, the shaft from the motor is not so long. But yes, this one is rotating. So, okay, let's start. I will connect the circuit first. I'll turn on the radio that I forgot. And here it is. So you are not able to hear the difference uh, through the camera, I think, but it's much, much, and extreme much better. The bass from the speaker is much more better. I can still get a better uh, speaker from it because this uh, the circuit can support up to, I think, uh, 30 watts, uh, and this is just 5 watts. But I think that will just affect on the loudness. But let let me connect it again. I like this one more. Yes, I like this sound much more. It's a BB1 if uh, someone uh, wants to know. If I remember, it's BB1. Okay, so here it is, not a uh, SSS1, not a SS1 Plus, not a SS1 Dual, it's a SS1 Extreme. So that's all, I will try to work on my Mercedes in next day and uh, I will try to connect the sound, the, the drive and the uh, steering, I still don't have all the parts and uh, just test it with the sound model. So that's all for now.